Hello, welcome. We're going to evaluate this together, but first try it on your own. All right, so what is this even saying? This is saying that, this, you know, it's hard to read logarithms often for students, and myself included. This is saying the log base square root of 7 of 49 is some value, we'll call it x. So we're trying, so really what we're trying to solve, if we think about this, we're trying to find if our base is the square root of 7, that raised to some power equals 49. This is, it's, so it's expressing this relationship here. And to solve this, this is a little confusing maybe at first, let's try a couple of things. When you're dealing with something that's a little overwhelming in math, just try stuff, give it a shot. And I'm just saying, what can I even do here? Well, the square root of 7, that's just 7 to the 1 half power. That's the same thing. And that's all raised to x over here. And, well, I got a base of 7. I know 49 is a multiple of 7. That's 7 squared. And I'm just rewriting this, and wow, I'm feeling a lot better about this problem. So right here, with our exponents, we do 1 half times x. We multiply our exponents. And we're saying that it's got to equal 7 squared. So these two sides are equal. They have equal bases, both 7s. They're going to be equal when their exponents are equal. So these are only equal to each other if 1 half times x equals 2. So in other words, when the exponents are equal. So what value of x would do that? Double both sides, and you get x equals 4. So these two things will be equivalent when our exponent is 4. And we can test that. So I'm going to put the answer here. Our answer is 4. Let's see if that makes sense. So if we have the square root of 7 to the fourth power, what would that equal? Well, that's 7 to the 1 half to the fourth. We multiply our exponents. 1 half times 4 is 2. So 7 squared, and that equals 49. It works. Now, if you want another way of doing this, uh, what you might do is rewrite 49 as 7 squared. And you could then do, let's just do that real quick. Let's see how that works out. I'm not really sure what will happen here. Let's see if this helps. So we're, this is the same problem. And there's a law of logarithms that says this little exponent right here can come in the front. And this will be equivalent. These are equal things. And that helps me, I think, because that tells me, OK, I got 2 times the log base square root of 7. That's of 7. So if I look at this piece right here, I'm essentially solving a smaller problem, where 7 to the 1 half the square root of 7 equals um, 7, right? And I just want to add a variable to that. If I go back to my reasoning before here, the square root of 7 to some power equals 49. So I should say that the square root of 7, which is 7 to the 1 half, that raised to some power is 7. That's what this logarithm is saying. And 7 is to 7 to the first, so a half of x when does a half of x equal 1? These two things are equal when their exponents are equal, when 1 half of x equals 1. And that only happens oops, when x is 2. Right? You can double both sides to see that. So these are equal things when a half of x equals 1 or x equals 2. And this is going to get us the same result, because this is going to be 2, a number in front, times this, which is just 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, which is our answer that we got up here. These are equal things. So those are two different approaches. I hope that helped.